Well, good morning, our beloveds. We are back home with our another in her space, in her bed, in her life, in her reality, in her rhythm. It is now or never, yet when she travels or leaves, it feels like another world. It's a different existence because you're finding things that feel different, that appear different, that express themselves differently. And when you return to your own home space, it feels good to be home again. Even if it was just for a short time that you were gone, your experience with other people and other cities and other communities and other energies matter. You are imprinting your soul upon their soil, if that makes sense. And depending upon who you are, your imprint is positive or negative, light or dark, beneficial or maleficent, right? But at the end of the day, it is what it is. And you go where you are meant to go and you meet with people whom you are meant to meet with. So what does this mean? What does this mean? It means that life is meant to be lived and nothing else matters. But it does matter. Everything matters. What you do, what you say, how it is expressed and why it is expressed matters because there is purpose in everything, even the mundane. You don't see it. You don't believe it. You don't treasure it. You don't appreciate it. And you don't concern yourself with it. But what if the mundane is where the magic lies and the large baubles is where really nothing lies other than your hidden energetic imprint of, oh, I need big things to make me feel happy. What if it is getting gas at the gas station and chatting with the person next to you that matters because you touched them that day with your story, your message, your being? What if that is how you shift the ripple within the time of the universe? How would it feel if you knew that the smallest, most generous, appreciative connections that you create with other human beings, whether it be a homeless being where you just look deeply into their eyes and acknowledge their presence. You give some food to a mouse that is outside. You bless the tree that is outside of your home. You see your neighbor walk by and you wave. What if those are the most momentous moments within your life and not when you donate a billion dollars to a worthy cause? What if that is where you find your purpose? And then you realign yourself with the minor moments and not the major moments. It feels for our another today that she is doing two steps forward and one step or three steps back. She's not certain. She is just overwhelmed by emotion of being present within her own routine and habits now. And how this little trip of hers has changed her and changed all of those with whom she had conversations. Now I wish to share with you how she conversed with the woman next to her yesterday. How our another shared her full journey from A to Z. And in a uh, polite way, no tears, no anger, just appreciation for where she finds herself now in the amazing lessons and how she wishes to share this with others and how she really feels that her story is important. And this woman also agreed that our another should write a book because it's not so much what happened to her that is important. It is what she has done with what happened to her that matters. And as their conversation was winding up, the woman asked our another's name. 
And she said, Kati. And the woman just stopped for a minute. Now, Kati only saw the outer expression. But within, this woman became jelly goo because she knew, she felt the importance of this message at that time. She had asked, specifically asked for a sign. And our another was that sign. Now we won't share with Kati what that sign was because this is the other person's personal story. But the other person had had a niece who had recently transitioned at a very young age in her 20s. And her name was Kati. And she had never met another person with this name. The spelling was different with a C instead of a K, but nonetheless, the pronunciation and the energy behind the individual was the same. So she knew that our another was sent as a special angel to teach her what she is to learn from the conversation yesterday. And while our another was simply sharing her story because she felt inspired to do so, because it is just f following the breadcrumbs and watching the gumballs drop into your mouth as the words come out, there is really no forethought. There is no planning of, I need to share my story. It naturally flows in a give and take conversation and it blows other people away because our another is not bitter. She is not angry. She sees her journey as having incredible purpose and that she will make a difference in other women's lives who have shared a similar journey or are still on that same journey. It is not about hating those around you who harmed you because they literally did the best that they could even though it wasn't good enough. It is how you see yourself as worthy of being treated well and setting new intentions and watching your own ripple effect in the lives of those around you for the better. Even if and when it does not feel good, it still is a ripple effect for the better because once the words are out there, once the energy is out there, once the story is out there, it matters in one form or another. So we are preparing our another for her public platform where she will speak publicly on a platform, on a stage about her journey and how it shifted and altered her. It is not designed to harm others, to shame others, to make them feel uncomfortable. It is merely her unique journey and how it is expressing itself in her life and why she has made peace with it as a whole and is moving forward and wishes for others to find a similar way of allowing themselves to step out of a timeline that no longer serves them and into a different timeline. But while you have shame and regret and anger and frustration and lots of hatred and animosity and things like that, well, it's hard to find the beauty and the grace and the magnitude of love within your own expression of self as you step outside of the cycle of abuse. It's just that simple when you see it as a natural ending to a particular path or journey that you are on in order to be able to step outside of it and then to grow and to blossom and to bloom and to share and to smell fragrant and to create a beautiful backdrop for others who are walking by to appreciate. That is the beauty within her story, not the pain and the suffering of her past, but the redemption the regurgitation of it in a different form in order to allow others to digest her story because that is what they need to hear for whatever reason. It is all beautifully designed and we shall not share with her where she is going nor why because then she would point her boat in that direction and not allow us to magically create it for her. Mysterious magic abounds 
when you don't try to can you feel that when you don't try to it's just energy floating there is nothing there to shape it to give it form to make it behave or be or appear in any particular shape it just is floating energy allowing itself to express itself in each and every moment because that is what life is meant to be and to do to allow you to be fluid and expansive in your story and your journey and so long as you believe that you fit into a box of i am a survivor of abuse i am a victim of abuse i am an abuser i am a former abuser those are descriptors those are boxes how about i am a human being who is in flux who is learning from past mistakes and learning to love myself in spite of it and to show others that we each have or carry the seed of redemption and grace within us those who have harmed others have as much of the capacity to change as those who have been harmed but nobody believes that everybody says these abusers cannot be treated for the most part and therefore that belief system creates the seed of creation of lack of change what if you all were collectively to say we believe that abusers too can find that love within themselves so they find peace and redemption and grace and gratitude even for their past to teach them that they can overcome these past moments as well and when you collectively believe that this is possible it begins to bear fruit it begins to produce that picture of redemption for humanity so we ask you all to suspend your belief or disbelief whichever it may be and to trust in the universe and to lean into the mystery and the magic of the unknown and to allow us to create a new construct that is based on love and forgiveness and redemption and grace and gratitude instead of holding people accountable through a justice system which just continues to harden their hearts why not offer those who need the help the most who are the abusers a space to grow to learn to love to love them themselves first and foremost and to love others being kind to others matters right now as we shared yesterday so be that be that today as you wish and as you worry no more because your thoughts your beliefs your intentions are what is creating the future and so it is namaste